So a little bit of change location, you actually see the creek behind us. So yeah, I'm standing well back uh, for the crocodile safety reason. Um, that they have been known to be in here before. So, so here we have the um, crossover tube. You got, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a cross in the middle there. So how we're we using that one, putting it up into the sky, walking through the tube, and if we see any uh, vegetation in the end of it, it's just the presence, absence of vegetation or not. You could do quarters, can record down which one has some vegetation and which one doesn't. That's okay as well. The other one here is you need to individualize your methods as well because if I hold this to my eye, it's quite a large circle. If I extend it out, that circle gets smaller as well. So you need to be descriptive in how close I'm holding it or how far away as well as the diameter of the tube itself. You make one of these yourself, it could be different to this one. The other important factor with sampling is make sure the same person is doing the same job all the way through. Because I might hold it like this, but my assistant helping me might hold it like that. Our results are going to be different. We're going to have random errors creeping into our surveys. If I'm doing it the same method each time and I'm making an error that falls into the more of a, the systematic error, error arena, uh, which is better than random, okay, at least it, the error is consistent all the way through our field work. So make sure you keep an eye on that. Divvy up the jobs if you if you have a field assistant, a family friend, a family or family friend, brother, sister, parents. Okay, divvy it up. Same jobs all the way through to reduce your errors.